What we observe is not nature itself, but nature exposed to our method of questioning. Only a few know how much one must know to know, how little one knows. Not only is the universe stranger than we think, it is stranger than we can think. The more closely you look at one thing, the less closely can you see something else. The reality we can put into words is never reality itself. After the conversations about Indian philosophy, some of the ideas of quantum physics that had seemed so crazy suddenly made much more sense. Looking at something changes it. Uncertainty is not I don't know, it is I can't know. I am uncertain does not mean I could be certain. When I meet God, I am going to ask him to questions, why relativity and why turbulence? I really believe he will have an answer for the first. The path comes into existence only when we observe it. It will never be possible by pure reason to arrive at some absolute truth. He atoms or elementary particles themselves are not real. They form a world of potentialities or possibilities rather than one of things or facts. Unless you stake your life, life will not be one. The very act of observing disturbs the system. I think that modern physics has definitely decided in favor of Plato. In fact, the smallest units of matter are not physical objects in the ordinary sense. They are forms, ideas, which can be expressed unambiguously only in mathematical language. The same organizing forces that have shaped nature in all her forms are also responsible for the structure of our minds. There are things that are so serious that you can only joke about them. By getting to smaller and smaller units, we do not come to fundamental or indivisible units but we do come to a point where further division has no meaning. What we observe is not nature itself, but nature exposed to our method of questioning. Our scientific work in physics consists in asking questions about nature in the language that we possess and trying to get an answer from experiment by the means that are at our disposal. Where no guiding ideals are left to point the way, the scale of values disappears, and with it the meaning of our deeds and sufferings, and at the end can lie only negation and despair. Religion is therefore the foundation of ethics, and ethics the presupposition of life. The existing scientific concepts cover always only a very limited part of reality, and the other part that has not yet been understood as infinite. There is a fundamental error in separating the parts from the whole, the mistake of atomizing what should not be atomized. Unity and complementarity constitute reality. Natural science does not simply describe and explain nature. It is part of the interplay between nature and ourselves. Whenever we proceed from the known to the unknown, we may hope to understand, but we may have to learn at the same time a new meaning of the word understanding. An expert is someone who knows 
some of the worst mistakes that can be made in his subject and how to avoid them. Every word or concept, clear as it may seem to be, has only a limited range of applicability. Every tool carries with it the spirit by which it has been created. The structure underlying the phenomena is not given by material, objects like the atoms of Democritus, but by the form that determines the material objects. The ideas are more fundamental than the objects. Science clears the fields on which technology can build. In the strict formulation of the law of causality, if we know the present, we can calculate the future. It is not the conclusion that is wrong, but the premise on an implication of the uncertainty principle. Separation of the observer from the phenomenon to be observed is no longer possible. Quantum theory provides us with a striking illustration of the fact that we can fully understand a connection though. We can only speak of it in images and parables. I believe that the existence of the classical path can be pregnantly formulated as follows. The path comes into existence only when we observe it.